Good morning everyone. Today's video is going to be super exciting and actually it's kind of intimidating because we are going to be reorganizing my three bookshelves that I have. Three very large bookshelves I would say. I have a lot of books. I think I have like over 300 books the last time I counted and I just know that number has continued to grow because the last time I counted I believe it was in July. We are back home for winter break and so I thought it was the perfect time to go ahead and try to accomplish this. I am currently missing 10 books. The way I keep track of that is in my book journal. It has a little books lent out page. And so I'm missing 10 books right now. I'm missing three Colleen Hoover. I'm missing three Ice Planet Barbarian books. I'm missing Notes on Heartbreak, Know My Name, Midnight Sun, and then Sex in the Heartland. Books that I'm missing. So I do want to keep room for those 10 books because I want to fill my bookshelves to where if I had every single book I own, it would have a spot on the shelf. So that is our goal today. I have pulled out the books I'm currently reading, the books for my January TBR, because I actually filmed my January TBR. And I actually had wrapped my physical TBR, and I am kind of sad because I'm going to actually unwrap them because I just want to know where all my books are going to go and everything like that. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip all the books that I have read or haven't read i can't remember how it's done but it's like you flip the books i think i want to flip the books that i haven't read yet that way i can just grab one and it'll be kind of like a surprise kind of like how they're wrapping the books is anyways that is our plan today i think my starting point is as i want to take all the books off of the shelves and sort them into genres i feel like that is kind of what i want to start with so that is the plan right now so let's go Guys, oh my gosh. So if you can't tell, what I did is I took all of my books off. This is all of them apart from my poetry books and a table book, which they're gonna stay where they are because they just go there. And then I also have my two books that I'm currently reading, but I'll probably pull them off to just make sure they fit in their section. But you know what, I'm gonna do that now. A romance and then a mystery. I organized them by genre. All of my books here, apart from the 10 that I have lent out. But yeah, this is my book collection. It's kind of insane. They like clean them and stuff like that. So now it is time to actually put them back on the shelves. And I don't know how I want to do this. I was going to be like, okay, I have the most of this. Let's put it on this shelf. I have the most of this. Let's put it on this shelf. And I can see from looking at it, romance section is definitely the largest. And I think my fantasy is probably the second largest with my nonfiction a close second. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it. I literally want to get more coffee. So I think I'm going to do that really fast. So hold on. Okay, I know you literally like can barely see, but we are going to make this shelf. This was actually my first ever bookshelf that I got, I think for my 18th birthday. And we are going to make this our fantasy shelf because I feel like I have the perfect amount of books to fit on here. And then if we have extra space, I'm going to add my Greek mythology. I kind of combine my Greek mythology with general fiction, but to me, Greek mythology is a whole different other category. And it kind of stems on like fantasy a little bit. So if I can fit it on the shelf, that would be perfect. But if not, that's okay. But now the goal is to fit all of this on the shelf. All my fantasy on these two shelves. I will say I feel like it could use a little bit more of organization but I will be doing like an in-depth bookshelf tour um, before the end of the year. It might come out in January but so far this is good. I do have a midnight sun that will go right here so that's why there's a gap and I think I actually should have my book journal that way I know where books need to go. So midnight sun will be the only one on the shelf so I'm thinking this looks pretty good, but if there was a way that I can consolidate it even more and get my Greek mythology right here, I think that would be perfect. The Greek mythology collection, I actually have two of the same books. 
Um, and so I'm thinking I'm just gonna get rid of this. I prefer paperback. So I'm gonna keep this one. And so this is literally all of my Greek mythology. And I'm like, I feel like it could potentially fit. This is literally crazy. I only have one more book. And so I'm thinking I might put lore in the back of this shelf and just keep these three out here. I mean, like, preferably, I would like to keep all the Greek mythology together, but in the back, like, it doesn't even matter. So I'm gonna put it in the back, and then we have two shelves done. Feeling pretty confident, but now we have to do the third shelf, which is actually, like, literally the worst shelf to do because it's the shortest out of all three, and I'm like, what do I have that'll fit in this one portion? I'm thinking either my general fiction or my classics. I think I want to try my classics first, so I'm gonna grab those. <laughs> I feel like the classics are actually a really good decision. I do have more than you would think, but the reason I think it's a good decision is because I have all of these classics in the Twilight Edition covers, and I think it'd be cool to have them like contrasting each other on the shelf. So let's see how I can manage this. Guys, I put all of my classics down here and there is only one pile right behind this. So there's a whole bunch of room in the back. And I get a little nervous when there's room in the back because I have so many books that it should take up every single space. So what I think is in my nonfiction section, there's a lot of like empty journals or like, like my dad has like told us kids is we have this like collection of coin books. And so like this, I think I'm gonna put on the back of there. And like this pile of things are all journals that I've already completed. So I'm gonna go through these and those will probably go behind there. Okay guys, we got one bookshelf done. We have our mystery thriller section, our general fiction, romance, and then nonfiction. And what I think I'm gonna do is over on this tall shelf, I also put books up here, so we need to figure out which books are gonna go on my shelf. But on this one, I think I'm gonna do nonfiction, the thriller mystery in this shelf, and then I I'm contemplating doing like romance right there, but I have a feeling it's not gonna fit. So I kind of think like, oh, maybe this should be my romance shelf. This is actually my favorite shelf, so it would make sense that my favorite genre goes on here. So I think that's my plan is to get my romance on here, or maybe I'll put my nonfiction and my thriller on here and then reevaluate, but that's the plan as of right now. I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, got the nonfiction and the mystery slash thriller. We got three shelves on there. And then these are all the books we have left with this entire shelf left. So I think I am going to do my entire romance over here. So that's the next step. Okay, okay guys, I think I finished and I realize I'm missing actually 11 books. So I have tried to fill a space and I'll go ahead and go through that. I'm not going to do like an in-depth book tour, bookshelf tour, because I'm going to be doing that um, in another video. So be on the lookout for that. And honestly, by the time that that happens, things will probably be changed because I'm going to make sure I mess with it and make sure I like it. Um, but yeah, let me pull out my thing. I'm going to show you each shelf and show you what is missing. Here is the first shelf. You guys saw me like in depth organizing this one. So this is my fantasy and then this is my classics. And the only book missing from the shelf is Midnight Sun, which will go right there, um, but it should fit perfectly. We even like have room on the shelf, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, this is the first shelf. This is my complete like romance. And I think I will probably mess with this one, but the general organization is this is like more dark romance or like pure like smut, honestly. And what I'm missing on here is I'm missing three barbarian um, books. So that will fit on there. And I believe that's it from that. And then this one is kind of like my young adult romance slash just like all that extra stuff that I didn't really have a spot for. Um, nothing will be on this shelf. Then these top shelves are just like contemporary romance. On this shelf, I kind of put all my together authors, like if I had multiple of their books on this. And then these are like standalones or just extra books. And we have some room on there. On this shelf, I went ahead and kept my normal or my Sally Rooney collection up here and my Colleen Hoover, but I put my Taylor Jenkins Reid and Emily Henry up on top. 
So I just put all of their books that I have on there. And from my Colleen Hoover, I'm actually missing Verity, maybe now, maybe not, and then Finding Cinderella. I think three of those books my sister has, and then Verity I'm lending out to a friend. So those four will go on here, and then of course I'll have some extra room up there. Is my general fiction um, shelf. It's all good. I don't think I'm missing anything from here, so nothing new on there. Shelf is my mystery slash thriller. I'm not missing anything on the shelf, so it'll look pretty similar to this. And then this shelf is my nonfiction, and I'm actually missing Sex in the Heartland, Know My Name, on Heartbreak. So that's three books we'll need to go on here. And it is a little tight, I will say, but honestly, I think I could fit it on this left side. Um, or just like try to reorganize it to fit all of them. And if needed, I will put it somewhere else on my little third bookshelf over there. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any recommendations on how I should reorganize it, if something should go somewhere else, let me know because I will take that into consideration. I'm very happy that I got this done today. I am feeling a lot more organized now. I have like genres on each shelf, which is always nice. Um, that way I can, if I'm looking for a certain thing, I can go to that shelf. I am now going to go and flip all of the books that are on my TBR. I forgot to do this. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put all my physical TBR on Goodreads. So hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier. That's going to be the end of this video. Let me know what other book related content you want to see. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye guys.